Grateful there isn't a height requirement for this award. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to lower the mics a little bit. Um, thank you so much to the ASLA and the ASLA jury. This is such an honor, and I am speechless. I actually, no, actually, there are things that I want to say, but I'm, I'm really <laughs> moved. Um, I want to thank uh, so many people, family, friends, so many people in the room, clients, mentors, colleagues, without your support and guidance over the last two decades, tonight would just not be possible for me. Um, I also want to thank the ASLA for being such an incredible advocate for our profession and for holding up landscape architecture for what it truly is, a powerful art form that shapes our everyday lives. Um, I want to thank my good, my great friend, uh, newly minted fellow thought leader, Thaisa Way. Let's give her a round of applause. <laughs> for nominating me, um, and uh, for all of my other friends who wrote uh, supporting letters for my nomination. Um, Let's see, thanks to Claude Cormier, Catherine Gustafson, um, Gina Ford, who's here tonight, um, Sarah Williams Goldhagen, and Charles Weinstein. When I read those letters, it was so moving, and it was kind of an out-of-body experience for me. Um, and, you know, I just thought, who is this amazing woman? I would love to meet her someday. <laughs> So um, keep trying, keep doing better. Um, so there's something that's been rattling around in my brain for the last few weeks, and I, I'm going to go out on a limb tonight and just, uh, just take a moment to talk about it. I know I'm kind of preaching to the choir right now because I've been to the convention all weekend, but um, a, a good friend of mine told me, you know, McKeown, you are the first person of color to receive this award, and third woman, and I... I'm just so honored to kind of take this mantle on. Um, but I'm also looking forward to the day where a diversity of voices are acknowledged and celebrated at a faster clip so that um, we can stop counting. Amen. Um, you just, um, Creative diversity, cultural diversity is such, it, like if we think of a city like Philly, just imagine what it would be like to live here and to be here and to visit here if it didn't have that cultural diversity and the diversity of voices. So just this weekend, you know, you could last night go to Symphony Hall and listen to a Poulenc organ concerto. Um, and I know some of you are thinking that sounds kind of horrible. <laughs> um, so what about tonight, you could go listen to Thelonious Monk's son perform some amazing jazz. Um, and then uh, after, you could go get some uh, baby pop, right? That's Korean. Um, and I just say, this is what makes America great, this diversity of voices. And um, I, from the work that I do when I go to uh, Portland, Oregon, to Portland, Maine, you know, it's happening. And I swear, I just made that up. I know it sounds a little politician-y, but, uh, you know, um, <laughs> oh, what the hell? You know, like, yes, we can. Let's just... You know, let's just <laughs> Our work is about finding the art and the science of landscape architecture. So whether it's the science of, um, of healing the mind and the body, or the science of resiliency, we are always looking at that through the lens of creativity and trying to innovate and find something new. And that takes many different kinds of minds. And I um, am so grateful to my team and our leadership, Brian Cho and Ian Downing, for their dedication, their talent, 
Thank you so much. Thank you so much, ASLA, for this incredible honor. It just means so much to me. Thank you again.